The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Chapter 6 Abraham, Lot, Sodom, and Gomorrah. Surah 15, 61 77. At length, when the messengers arrived among the adherents of Lot, he said, You appear to be extraordinary folk. They said, Yea, we have come to thee to accomplish that which they doubt. We have brought to thee that which is inevitably due, and assuredly we tell the truth. Then travel by night with thy household, when a portion of the night yet remains, and do thou bring up the rear. Let no one amongst you look back, but pass on where ye are ordered. And we made known this decree to him, that the last remains of those sinners should be cut off by the morning. The inhabitants of the city came in mad joy at the news of the young men. Lot said, These are my guests, do not disgrace me, but fear God, and shame me not. They said, Did we not forbid thee to speak for all and sundry? He said, There are my daughters to marry, if you must act so. Verily, by thy life, O prophet, in their wild intoxication, they wander in distraction to and fro. But the mighty blast overtook them before morning. And we turned the cities upside down, and rained down on them brimstone hard as baked clay. Behold, in this are signs for those who by signs do understand. And the cities were right on the high road. Behold, and this is a sign for those who believe. Lot lived in the outskirts of Sodom, but he was not a Sodomite homosexual. So the Lord sent two angels in the appearance of handsome young men to save him and his family. The angels came and communicated with Lot by telepathy, and Lot, not wanting them to be troubled by the Sodomites, homosexuals, rushed them into his house. And the angels said that they would stay in the street all night. Being angels, they did not need sleep, and they knew that the Sodomites slash homosexuals could do them no harm. However, Lot insisted, so the angels stayed inside and accepted his kind hospitality. The queers had seen the angels, and they came to Lot's house and surrounded it, demanding that Lot should bring the handsome young men out so that the queers could force them to submit to being sodomized, raped. Lot went out to plead with the queers to go away and to take women instead and not to embarrass and shame him in front of his guests. He closed the door behind himself to protect the angels from the queers slash sodomites. The queers became angry with Lot because he was not one of them, and was not a local either. And they threatened to do worse to Lot than to the strangers, angels. On hearing this, the angels dragged Lot back inside and struck the queers blind, so that they wandered around lost and could not find the door to Lot's house. In the morning, the two angels pulled Lot, his wife, and two daughters out of the house, telling them to leave and not look back, because they were going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. The angels then destroyed the two cities with a terrible blast of fire, and it so totally annihilated them that to this day, although it is known roughly where they were situated, absolutely no trace of them has ever been found. Genesis 19.24, Surah 15.76-77, Genesis 19.24, Then the I Am rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the I Am out of heaven. Surah 15, 76-77 And the cities were right on the high road. Behold, in this, a sign for those who believe. The blast was far more efficient than any crude nuclear weapon, and destroyed not only the cities and everything in them, but also the bodies and the souls of the inhabitants. Lot's wife looked back, and because the eyes are the windows of the soul, the blast, fire, entered through her eyes, destroying her soul, and turning her into a pillar of salt. Luke chapter 11 verse 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, the body also is full of darkness. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy, homosexuality, has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17 there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite, homosexual, of the sons of Israel. Cross-reference Leviticus 20.13 If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood, the blame, shall be upon them. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy slash homosexuality 
has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17, carrying the death penalty. Leviticus 20.13, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood, the blame, shall be upon them. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy slash homosexuality has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17, carrying the death penalty. Leviticus 20.13, and also regarded as immoral until the last generation, when man had the audacity to not only make it legal, but has also tried to make it acceptable, if not compulsory. And now, it is also rapidly becoming illegal to be a man. Illegal to be a man.